The front of my hair is my business. The back of my head, what does it look like? I don't know. It starts with y'all. Y'all are the problem. Like, I want my hair in my body to smell good. Not just my body, but my hair in my body. And the fact that the Holy Spirit told me that she was gonna do that. I was gonna wear a dress today. Now I'm gonna hold y'all up. I was gonna wear a dress and get cute. But then I'm like, dang, do I really wanna do that? Do I really, do I really care that much? I don't really care. Welcome back to another vlog, y'all. I have not vlogged, I think, in a while. The last vlog I put out was old. Technically old, the only thing that was new was like the ending parts of that vlog. If y'all have not seen that vlog, go look at it. But yeah, I have not vlogged in a while. I just, I haven't left my home. Even though I can still vlog and you know do daily life things, I just have not had the motivation to vlog. And I'm, no, I'm not gonna say I haven't had the motivation. I haven't had the motivation. <laughs> I haven't had the motivation. I don't know, I just been tired. And then I actually, first of all, I keep doing that. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla, if you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys are not new here, then welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, or whatever. Now we can jump back into what I was saying. So I haven't vlogged, but a couple days ago, literally yesterday, yesterday, so today is, today's July 10th, Wednesday, July 10th. I'm actually getting ready to go, but I just finished a three day fast. Now, when you do a fast, a spiritual fast, you're not supposed to tell anybody you're doing a fast. Um, Yesterday, I had told my mom, like, <laughs> Everything that I was experiencing during this fast, which I'm gonna get more into in a different video, like a um, sit down video. But my mom was like, I didn't know you were on a fast. I'm telling her, like, you're never supposed to, no one's supposed to know. That's why I be on TikTok and when people be saying, yeah, I'm fasting. And you can, it's like an hour ago or it, they're saying, I'm, I'm doing a seven day fast and it, today is day four. Girl, if, unless you're fasting just to fast, then okay, go ahead, tell your business. But if you're fasting a spiritual fast, like God is involved and you're trying to do it to get closer to God or um, anything like that, you're not supposed to tell anybody until after you're done. If you want to tell your testimony afterwards, then go right ahead. But to tell in the midst of um, you doing, should I just keep this? No, I'm not gonna do it. To tell that you're fasting in the midst of fasting, you're not supposed to do that. It literally states that in the Bible. That's supposed to be between you and God. So I did my three day fast and I also braided my hair. But <laughs> I did the fast and I only did it for three days. It was from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I did a water fast and I wasn't eating, obviously, but even though it was 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., I dedicated my body to God. Once 12 a.m. hit, it was a new day, okay? So I got my food in. As soon as 6 p.m. hit, once 12 a.m. hit, my body was dedicated to God, and I was praying, fasting again. And when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, I have not ate anything all day. What time is it? It's 3 o'clock on the dot, okay? When I was fasting, when I was fasting, it could be, I could wake up around, because I would go to sleep late. So probably like 3 o'clock I would go to sleep. Wake up probably around 7, 8. Not even, I could be up still. 12 o'clock and hit, 1 o'clock and go around, 2 o'clock. I am like so hungry as if I've never ate before. Where's the hunger now? Where's the hunger now? No one can tell me spiritual warfare is not real. No one can tell me demons are not real. No one can tell me that. No one can tell me that. No one can tell me that. Cause I, where's the hunger? Where's the hunger? I haven't ate all day. I haven't ate an ounce of food. I have not drunk an ounce of water either. That's actually really bad. Hold on. Ooh. They're waving at the mirror. They can't see, you gotta wave at the camera. Say hi. Hi. All right, let's get down. I don't even know what I was saying. I got sidetracked. And I'm trying to find her cup, her milk cup at that. It has milk in it. Where did she put it? I don't know where she put that dang milk cup. My head is itching. I'm about to use this jojoba oil for my hair, for my scalpy scalp. Yeah, I don't know what, oh, I was talking about my fast. But yeah, I did my fast and um, I went through, I didn't go through like horrible spiritual warfare. But I was going through some stuff that I didn't know I would experience because when I did a fast like a week or two ago because I was giving I don't know what was going on a succubus and an incubus Inc incubus <laughs> was trying to get its thing on with me in my sleep so I talked to my friend and she was like yeah when I was going through that I did a fast I did a three-day fast and it you know went away or whatever did that fast but i didn't experience any like crazy crap then another reason i was fasting because i've been having like crazy dreams i didn't really know 
or understand. So I just, I was like, I need to fast. I need to do something to get some clarity on something. Did I get clarity on the dreams? No. But every dream I have, I don't feel like I'm gonna get clarity on probably. And I say that because, so if y'all remember that one bridge, why are you using the Okay, don't put that in your ear because you can hurt your ears. There was a bridge that like completely collapsed. If y'all seen that on the news or on TikTok, people was talking about it. Months prior to that, so February, I literally wrote the dream down in my freaking phone. Hold on. Because it was just weird. It was the weirdest dream to me. Bridge. See, it says January. Y'all can't see it. January 29th, 2024 at 3.08 a.m. I had this dream about the bridge collapsing. I was confused. I was like, I don't know if something hit it, blah, 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 blah. I get on TikTok months later and I see the same bridge that was in my dream collapsed. Now to other people, like my family, my immediate family, they didn't know I dream. I be dreaming, okay? I be <laughs> dreaming. That's a gift from God, truly and honestly. But... Some dreams I just don't be understanding the point to until they happen. Now, God forbid they do happen because some of the dreams I was having are very, um, like you, I don't wish that on anybody at all. To be honest. We're all going to eventually pass. I don't claim death on anybody anytime soon, especially around my age. So I'm trying to keep my braids moisturized even though it's synthetic my hair is in my braids as well and then now the back of my hair is none of my business the front of my hair is my business the back of my head what does it look like i don't know but it's none of my business none of my concern none of my concern at all i don't care so i just use okay so i use the jojoba oil for my scalp and then i use the frenchie or french uh cashmere vanilla body and hair radiant oil it smells so freaking good then i'm gonna use a pacifica island vanilla hair and body just spray it just so i can like i want my hair in my body to smell good not just my body but my hair in my body yeah we're about to get ready to go why are you opening go ahead so we're about to get ready to go i feel like i have so much to also talk to you guys about I need to change my battery because you know what i got new batteries i already told y'all that but it's just she, to... she learned how to flush the toilet Everything go in the toilet now at this point. But I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get in the car because I got to go. It's already three o'clock. I gotta hurry up. I gotta get her milk. Hopefully the bottle pops up somewhere by the time I get home. Where is it at? I don't know, but that's the worst of it. That's the worst because it be stinking when you do find it. Okay, so it's a couple hours. Not even a couple. It's some hours later, and we're back home. I'm about to watch a movie, most likely. Divergent finish like the second one or start the second one on my phone. That's usually what I do I watch Netflix on my phone and then let her watch her show for a little bit before she goes to bed I got my popcorn right here. She has her goldfish <laughs> Why are you looking like that? Hold on I gotta make sure there's no kernel but yeah, that's what we're about to do. Um, relax. I'm getting a headache. Like, I don't know why I'm getting a headache right now. But I've had a headache so far for like 5, 10 minutes. So I just want to relax and then go to bed and call it, a, call it a day and then start the day over tomorrow. Everything was just all over the place. Went to get food and then that's it. I had to go take care of some stuff with my car. That took hours. I think that's what took like the majority of the freaking time. We left at 3 and didn't get finished until six so i have a new car technically new car different color same car same like brand not brand what is it called same make model different color of my car i'm not gonna say the color because i remember when i was with my daughter's father and this girl knew what my car looked like because i showed it on camera and she was able to see that i was at his apartment it was just some crazy stuff going on back in the day but i'm not gonna do that again not at all not again so yeah that's what i do watch a movie chill out and then get ready for bed i look kind of oily because i got sunscreen on but today is thursday july 10th or 11th one of those whatever thursday the day falls on that's the day but i am actually on my way to the movies i decided to treat myself to go out um my mom 
well she's watching her but technically she gonna go to sleep so well yeah she still is watching her because she can't stay at home by herself so she's being watched by my mama and it was like a um spur of the moment type of thing i just wanted to go to movies get out the house for a little bit that's it that's all i want to do so that's what i'm going to do i already bought my ticket online so that it can already be bought because what i wasn't gonna do it was between three movies that i was gonna go see but what i wasn't going to do is if they she was gonna turn while i was still driving straight like girl what the heck this is why i don't oh my gosh but anyway if the movie theater was going to be packed by the time i got there i was not gonna go so i waited until close to the time i was going to get my ticket to decide whether or not i was gonna go just like you know you can see how many people is in there because the seats are taken up so if it was too many people up in there i wasn't gonna go to that movie or i wasn't gonna go at all so it's pretty roomy like no one is really in there so that's why i decided to just go ahead and go to the movie today so i can just get out the house a little bit and i haven't been to movies in so freaking long that's the thing i just wanted to get out but yeah that's what we're going to do today i brought an extra battery i never took it out of my purse i just threw on the same thing y'all y'all probably like i said i don't know if i said or not but like i said um i wear the same thing i have clothes but i just choose to wear my leggings my sweatshirt my shirt call it a freaking day because i'm very basic i was gonna wear a dress today now i'm gonna hold y'all up i was gonna wear a dress and get cute but then i'm like dang do i really want to do that do i really do i really care that much i don't really care so i just wore some leggings a sweatshirt in this 84 degree weather and called it a day and wear some tennis shoes i don't care i made sure i smell good though that's the thing i made sure i smell good and look presentable i look decent to be out i don't care so i'm excited to just go out to the movie for a little bit I had to get Malaya situated first before I left. I had to get her milk, put her on a potty, brush her teeth, um, all that stuff, gave her a bath. I did everything. Before I go out anywhere, if I do decide to go out, I always make sure she's situated first, as every parent should do. She got her bath, she ate dinner, played, she talked to her dad before I left. Called her today. <laughs> That's it. That's all I did. So I'm so hot. That's the problem. I'm about to roll out these windows. I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get there. Hopefully, I don't know because it's hard to record in a movie theater. I'd be scared because I don't want them to think I'm like trying to record the movie. I'm not trying to record the movie. I'm just trying to get a little footage, just a little bit, so I can put it in my vlog. That's it. Good morning, and welcome back to another vlog. Actually, this is the same vlog. Good morning. Um, I have not vlogged since last week. Today is June 16th, Tuesday, June 16th. It's been a very hectic, like, couple days. So, last week, I don't, I can't remember the day. I think it was Thursday or Friday. It was one of those days. But, um, I found out my grandmother had passed away. And it was a very, um, I don't know. It was just, it was just a lot going on. I found out my grandmother passed away. So, I have not vlogged since then i'm not gonna go too much into detail we don't even know like technically what day she passed because she was found in her home but yeah that's what's been going on for the past couple days have not vlogged have not felt up to it the last video i did recently was my tips for growing closer to god which i really wanted to put that video out so i put that video out but to vlog i just did not huh it's a vlog i just didn't feel like picking up the camera vlogging any of that but this morning woke up around 7 8 probably and i was just laying in bed i was just laying in the bed not doing anything i could have did my bible study did not do my bible study did i pray i did pray we're all work in progress when it comes to like you know putting god first i need to do my bible study for sure to make a day a better day because truly and honestly i left this morning and before i left the house like i said i prayed i have been asking god to work on me with my anger and to be less quickly to get to anger if that makes yeah let's 
quick to anger and so i prayed over just everything i usually pray about left the house and today is tuesday so they usually cut the grass on tuesdays my neighbor usually moves her car into like the visitor spot on the other side of my other neighbor so i ended up leaving and my spirit was telling me she gonna move her car into your spot so my mom has her own personal spot everyone does and then you have visitor spots Ooh, okay and then you have visitor spots that you can um park in so i usually park on the other side of my mom i'm about to turn it on i need you to calm down bring it down i usually park on the other side of my mom so when i left my spirit was telling me she's gonna move her car from from where she parked at moved her car from her actual spot to a v spot into the v spot that you park in i knew she was gonna do that i leave go to the hair supply store you're very welcome go to the hair supply store because i need to get some more edge control from malaya's hair beat i just need to get hair stuff come back why did she move her car you moved your car out of the spot that you originally moved it to into my spot like what what, what was your point and we had well, my mom had like a conversation with her this one time because I was outside with a friend of mine and she called security on me and my friend. We don't talk anymore, but the guy I was mentioning in like past videos, we don't speak anymore. She called security on us and when he told us like, you know, she got cameras, like y'all should leave. Left and when my mom confronted her about it, she stated like, oh, I don't have cameras. I don't know why they would lie on me. Like, I, not I don't have cameras. I don't be watching y'all. I don't watch anything except for the stuff that goes on around my house. That's a lie. That's false. That makes no sense because why would they lie and say, oh, she got, you know, she got cameras. So y'all should just leave. If you're not watching or you did not call. So the fact that you took the time out to move your car into my spot it just shows you were just being petty you were just being so freaking petty so of course i called my mother because i needed to vent like you irritating she just rang the doorbell not too long ago she was saying how you know you can move your car back to their your spot because i thought they were gonna cut the grass i was like okay i left it at that because i could have went more into it and been like okay if you knew they were gonna cut the grass why did you move your car from the V spot to my V spot. It's literally one car over. What was the purpose of that? <sighs> yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm venting because I'm just, emotions are high. Usually stuff hit me at night. But this morning, I just, I don't know. The morning is not going as I originally thought it was gonna go. But I'm gonna have a great day. I'm gonna have a great day. It's just that, that irritated me. And the fact that the Holy Spirit told me that she was gonna do that to prepare me. <laughs> And I still allowed her to basically irritate me. But today, basically all I got to do, I was going to take y'all with me to the beauty supply store, but I forgot my camera. And by the time I got around the corner, I was like, I'm not coming back. I'm not turning back around for a camera. Then I have to come back, leave, take her out the car, come back. I'm not doing all that. So I went to the beauty supply store. I'm sure y'all what I got. I got simple stuff, stuff for Malia technically. And then I dropped off clothes into the bin. I decluttered sort of kind of the stuff that baby. you don't have to whine. Just ask me what um, you want me to. Baby. Hmm? Hey, baby. I got these clear ones. These are kind of smaller than those. So I got those so I can get that little thingy right there. Black. I got the hearts. I got two packs of the heart. I got white again. What did I get? Oh, I got smaller white. This is my favorite edge booster to use on her hair because it just works very well to slick her hair down and I absolutely freaking love it. And I either get the blue one, but they didn't have the blue one. And this one is the raspberry scent. So I just got this one, whatever. I got some rosemary, can't even see it. Rosemary and biotinin honey deep conditioner because I'm gonna deep condition her hair. This is blurry more biotin and honey rosemary conditioner i got leia another little bonnet so i could put on her hair and then i also got me one because i can't find the other one that i usually use and that's it and you know how much that was 71 dollars and 48 freaking cent that is freaking crazy so right now i'm about to go downstairs wash dishes i'm not going to record myself washing dishes because that's just gonna take some time i also gotta fold malaya's clothes i'll probably record that and just like speed it up but yeah i'm about to do that so i can get started with everything else i need to get started with just figure out what we gonna eat because right we've been eating out we ate out yesterday and the day before yesterday i know sue me whatever but well don't sue me claim that <laughs> 
but it's just everything is everywhere and i'm pretty sure everybody know what i'm talking about like when it was sudden it was so random like you like yes everyone's death is random but it was literally random and i know like people if we are we're all gonna die but i just felt like my grandmother was like, immortal like she did not age that woman looked the same for years she was 75 76 i think she looked the freaking same like that woman was immortal i feel like but i was telling my mom yesterday she got malaya her first little bite and that is something that I just cannot bring myself to get rid of when she grows out of it. I'm gonna keep it for my next kid, even though I feel like my next kid is going to be a boy. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep that bike. And it's sentimental. Cause I was like, I hope it's not gonna bring like make it make it come off as like I'm a hoarder. But I'm about to clean up, do whatever I gotta do. And I'll probably talk to you guys when I start folding and also washing her hair and doing what I gotta do with her. It's been like two, three hours, probably more since I stopped recording. I just, I literally like just finished my life hair. Between washing, conditioning, styling, all that stuff, it just takes so long. So I tried to do a style that's gonna last, just last a little bit longer, hopefully. I like it, it looks cute on her. I like the little beads. I'm about to show y'all, but it's just, it took so long, which is, I don't understand why girls grow their son's hair out preference whatever but w when i have a son boy i'm cutting your hair you're gonna have a little curly top of curly hair at the top everything else is getting cut i'm not doing that but my thing is this i don't like when people try to say if my daughter has like ponytails in her hair and she's wearing like a boy color like blue oh he's so cute first of all she don't look like a little boy she look like a little girl second of all boy shouldn't even have hair granted in the bible samson had long hair but Samson, I'm pretty sure, wasn't wearing beads and barrettes. I don't know why you women put beads and barrettes in y'all son's hair. They're boys. Y'all gonna confuse them, and that's the problem now. It starts with y'all. Y'all are the problem. But let me show y'all her hair, because she looks cute. Look how cute. Pop. Pop. She's playing with this. It's her actual school activity, but we haven't worked on this one yet, because it's um, spelling. But yeah, this is her hair. This is what it looks like. And hopefully it lasts longer because it's in smaller ponytails. And I put the beads so it can like stretch her hair out a little bit. But do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. You look, nah. you look so cute. Yeah, you're playing with that. I'm about to figure out what we're going to eat so that um, we can get ready for bed soon. Because I think it's going on 4 o'clock. Yeah, By the time you know it's going to be 6 45 6 55 7 o'clock i don't got time so um i'm actually about to take pictures of her hair and all that stuff because i'll be sending pictures to her family on her dad's side okay i'm about to wrap it up so that it can be <laughs> styled and done and not touched so yeah hi you guys hi <laughs> moving your beads y'all it's been a couple days since i talked to you I just got out the shower like 10 ish minutes ago i just put some clothes in the washer because tomorrow is sunday and i'm going to be doing a sunday reset video so i need to get clothes washed now since i do also need to wash my comforter and everything so everything got to be washed so i just decided to start the load now so that i can already be 
pretty much done so tomorrow can go as smooth as possible i just need to get my life together i just really need to get my freaking life together in general but i wanted to talk to you guys because again i haven't talked to you guys and i think like a couple days and then today is saturday obviously tomorrow sunday i don't know i just feel like i just want to talk and i have a lot on my mind that i want to talk about kind of sort of but yeah also i got a couple not a couple i got a new product that i'm going to show you guys y'all know i'm big on my skin and aging i get it you're not gonna um you're gonna age or you're gonna age it is what it is that's life but if i can at least make sure i look my age or a couple years younger i'm gonna try my best to do so obviously i take my collagen don't mind this i think this is like lotion i take my collagen either i take my collagen powder or i take my collagen peels that i showed you guys in like a couple vlogs back i think so i take that for my skin i use my sunscreen which is the hydro boost neutrogena sunscreen then i looked up um like retinol i don't know what i was I was watching a TikTok and she has been using retinol since she was in her 20s and she looked good for her age. I'm like, yes, I need that. I need to look good for my age when I'm 40, 50 years old. So this is a cream that I started using today, actually. Again, you can use it twice a day, morning and night. I'm about to put it on before it gets 12 o'clock. I just been in this mind frame of like, I need to get myself together. I just feel like I'm spiraling like mentally. I don't know what the heck is going on in my own life. I'm a mother, of course, I'm a mother before anything, but I don't want to lose sight of Kayla, like before having Malaya, who was Kayla. And I don't want to be the Kayla I was before Malaya because the Kayla I was before Malaya was a worldly Kayla. I want to be a Kayla for the Lord. You know, I've been in the right direction. Thankfully, God has been taking me on the right path but like i was talking to my cousin yesterday i explained to him the same thing i'm explaining this y'all and he was saying even when it feels like you don't know what's going on in your life you're like in the eye of like the tornado and eventually it's all gonna make sense eventually guys gonna show you everything that he has you doing everything is gonna make sense it's gonna fall into place i'm just like i can't wait for that because like i told him i just don't know what the heck is going on like what the freak life be life and you're here today go on tomorrow i've been focusing on my you know spiritual health spiritual growth that's not yet spiritual growth my health in general and it's funny how your goals change because at first probably like a couple months ago i wanted to be slim thick now i don't freaking care i want to be slim and have my muscle toned up and get as small as possible but look healthy because I, I don't care for booty but i don't care anymore i don't give a freaking crap i just want to be healthy i want to be the healthiest version of me possible i want to get myself together spiritually get myself together mentally emotionally career-wise and financially and just be the best mom possible for malaya which i have been but you know even being a parent is challenging malaya is a toddler so she's doing toddler things and she's testing things and she's testing limits and every day you have to have patience for a kid which is fine so it's like wow kids don't come with a manual and you have to take it day by freaking day and that's what i'm trying to do another thing is i'm just trying to figure out who i am even though i made that video not too long ago probably like a couple months ago about figuring out who you are changing up your style like caring about what you look like before you leave the house which i do even if it's me wearing leggings and like a workout jacket i'm looking presentable i don't know i kind of want to expand a little bit more and even if i don't expand my wardrobe and keep it basic because i love me a basic because i'm chasing after malaya all freaking day nobody want to wear jeans i want a new style i don't know if i want to wear that dang ponytail again which i really don't but that's a quick little hairstyle to freaking put in my head when i don't know what i want to do i don't know if i want to twist my hair like my own natural hair use and twist it the braids I'm over it. Um, I need to wash my hair. My hair freaking itches. I need to wash it tomorrow. I was thinking about a quick weave. Not a quick weave. Not a quick weave. A sew-in and then leaving a leave out. But I worked out. Okay, y'all are like at a an okay angle, I guess. I don't know. But um, don't know when the last time I talked to you guys. But I am actually about to get Malaya's homeschool stuff together. She keeps taking stuff out of her drawer. So my mom has one of these like under the bed storage bins. So I went and grabbed it. You gotta sit down because you don't have a shirt on. But um, I'm trying not to put her in camera in the camera because she does not have a shirt on and people are weird. So anyway, grabbed her bin 
which hopefully she does not mind. But I'm about to put her stuff in the bin. I'm about to show you guys everything basically that I have her when it comes to homeschooling. I also need to organize my soap and perfume cabinet. So I ordered this from Amazon. It's this thing right here. Hopefully y'all can see. It's the little like shelf thing. You can't even see because it it's black and white. It looked like that. So I ordered that yesterday so I could put my perfumes up there. I'll show you guys. I don't think I'm going to do it in this video because I don't think I'm going to get to it today. Probably do it in either a separate video or a different vlog. But I want to hurry up and do this because it's already going on 4, not 4 o'clock. Oh! Sorry, going on 3 o'clock. It's 2.48. Today is Wednesday, July 24th, actually. So I'm trying to hurry up so I can work out, do a home workout. I've been on my home workouts because, I don't know, I just need to make sure I keep me on my own, like, routine and not lose sight of myself. I feel like as mothers, yes, parents, I feel like mothers we lose sight of ourselves really quickly and just everything was just all over the place and that's one thing i don't want to lose sight of is myself i always put my all in all in my child because of course my child comes first well god comes first i make sure i try to do my bible study but my child comes first before any and everything including myself she did her homework assignment yesterday this is one of her notebooks remember if you watched one of my vlogs it was when we were at dollar tree i got her the notebook and it has all of her school stuff in here but you can't over you can't talk over me you gotta sh it has all her school stuff in here so like number recognition like we did number two and how to spell her name and all this stuff and y'all i get no no markers no this is exactly why i'm putting it in a bin i get a lot of ideas from either pinterest or tiktok that's where i get my ideas from or just be creative if you are like a teacher already i make sure that i and still doing school with her so that she's not left behind. Research shows that y'all, a lot of kids in America do not know how to read, really? But y'all can work that iPad. My child will not be one of those. She may watch her little TV shows or whatever, but I want her to understand God come first, your education and everything else after, period. I'm about to organize everything. I'm gonna show y'all the bin. A lot of stuff that I got, again, like I said, is either from Dollar Tree or Amazon. This is the bin. Ooh. This is the bin. Yes, yeah, Play-Doh. So like this activity right here, I mentioned before in a vlog, got this from Amazon. All this stuff is linked to my Amazon storefront. This little activity right here, it's like you gotta put the shapes on the string. It's good as well for kids to just like motor skills. So Amazon, it's linked to my Amazon storefront under toddler, baby, something like that. So go look down there. Um, she got this Montessori kit. This, I'm a, um, she opened it, as y'all can see. Yeah. Trying to get into my stuff. It's paint. But this is a Montessori kit so that she can help me cook. We not going to get into this Whoa. until a little bit when she can listen a little bit more. We're working on her listening skills. These are from Amazon. I used to have these as a kid. They're first little readers. Very easy little books. Like a couple words on each page. So, yeah. I'm about to just organize her stuff and I just want to talk to you guys real quickly. That's pretty much it. So let me just organize her stuff so I can get to working out and get my evening started, I guess. I don't know. I finished it it's all organized and everything the only thing I didn't put in here is the Montessori kit because it doesn't have fit which is fine so this should be good she's gonna decorate her stuff and call it a day make sure you put it on put it wherever you want just decorate it okay I don't know where I left off when it comes to me showing you guys her school supplies but I think it's been like a couple days I just been all over the place with this vlog simply for the fact that I'm just trying to mentally and emotionally get myself together I feel like this entire week well, today is Sunday. Today is actually Sunday. Um, 
July 28th. Hi, mama. Hi, honey. I just feel like all last week, it was just all over the place. And of course, as a parent, you can't really like take the time to grieve how you want to grieve. Do what you like. I don't know. Figure out yourself because you have a a kid or kids you have to tend to the only time i have to do that is when she goes to bed and that i don't know what's going on her going on with her but she she cannot do anything without being around me which is fine but at the same time it's like what is going on like what is what is going on with you she wake up crying she wake not even crying she wake up whining she go to sleep one whine she the sun could be shining the wrong way and she gonna whine and i'm just like where's the blueprint got to how to parent i don't know if i've been having a headache because i'm like stressed out not i'm not gonna claim stressed out on myself i'm just overwhelmed with a lot of different things i feel like you get in those seasons of your life where it feels like you're not in control of freaking anything like at all and that's how i feel and even when it comes to getting out of bed of course i have to get out of bed because i have a child i have to tend to i can't sleep in i can't sulk in my freaking sadness or emotions because i have a kid i have to wake up for and get up and do stuff for and all that extra stuff so as a parent you're putting your emotions and yourself on the back burner which i know a lot of people say you shouldn't do because you're still human yourself but to a certain extent sometimes you have to not deal with your emotions because you have another person you have to deal with i'm dealing with her emotions I'm, I'm trying to parent her i'm trying to teach her i'm trying to figure out my life i'm trying to get right with god and my spiritual life i am trying to figure stuff out then dealing with spiritual warfare is just another thing i freaking hate dealing with no one likes dealing with spiritual warfare i've said it once i've i'll say it again walking with god is the best thing you ever do because you know he's guiding you but it's also the most challenging thing that you'll ever do because you're not only following god and denying yourself and picking up your cross but you're following god and you have no say in what's going on you don't know what's going on you don't know what's happening next it feels as though sometimes he's like like ignoring you or he forgot about you at least that's what the enemy wants you to think like he forgot about you but then it feels like dang like okay what's going on you seem real quiet you seem real quiet and that's how i've been feeling lately like he's been real quiet i'm trying to figure stuff i'm just trying to figure out what the freak is going on like what is going on and sometimes i just want to deal with myself and deal with what i have to actually deal with which is myself my child and whatever god is allowing me to have control over i had to move sceneries because i don't need to talk about certain stuff in front of her because that's just i mean it's no point so dealing with that dealing with my own self dealing with my own walk with god dealing with <laughs> i'm with me trying to figure out life being a parent is very challenging. I'm not complaining. I don't want anybody to think I'm complaining because I'm just venting because I don't have anybody to talk to completely, completely honest. I don't want to just be trauma dumping on somebody. So I talk to my camera. I talk to y'all. Whatever. It is what it is. But parenting is very challenging. Wouldn't trade it for the world. I just wish. What is in my eye? Anyway, parenting is challenging. And I feel like it's more so challenging because this stage, I don't know what the freak is going on. I don't know what the stage is, but it's the attitude. She has an attitude. She's two. Like, what? where's the attitude coming from? Like, nothing's wrong with you. Like, nothing. You have nothing to actually worry about. So, of course, you have to teach a person. You have to teach a child how to communicate, how to do this. You know, I'm trying to come up with different, like, curriculum things to teach her Hi. for school. Hi. I feel like I'm going to keep getting interrupted by my child because that's that's normal i don't even have a moment to just take a shower alone every time i'm taking a shower she's gonna barge in and try to play in the water being a parent is very um rewarding but it's like man it's challenging it's very very challenging to be a parent i was telling my mom if somebody gave me 10 million dollars and was like here's 10 million get pregnant have another kid and raise it i'm gonna turn down that 10 million and i'm not gonna play around Take your 10 million and go give it to someone else to carry a kid. Not saying I don't want another child. Down the line when I get married again, of course I want to have another kid. But as of right now, that would not be the most logical thing to do. 
for my own circumstances for the fact that parenting is hard having two under two or three under whatever i know especially doing it by yourself that is just ridiculous to me and it's not me bashing anyone else that um that does it but it's just it's crazy to me how you can be going through a challenge with a kid like parenting and then you go out and be like hmm let me go have another one and you're still like confused on why you're struggling taking care of a kid when you know it was already challenging with the first one especially when you're doing it by yourself granted you can still be a single parent when you're married and then you can get divorced or whatever the case may be but it's just crazy to me like no you cannot pay me enough to have another kid right now you can't you absolutely freaking can't you can't give me enough to get pregnant again and have another one she's not a bad kid kids are not bad hmm. some of them malaya is not bad but she is going through this toddler phase of she doesn't want to listen she want to choose to be hard-headed she's not hard-headed i'm not gonna speak that over her she's not hard-headed she chooses to be hard-headed and she chooses not to listen to see how far she can like go to see what she can get away with and i feel like i'm going on a rant because i just have a lot built up and it's just irritating i have a lot going on <laughs> spiritual warfare is spiritual warfaring life is lifing people are peopling toddlers are toddlering i'm just like god dang it i need a moment i need a moment life is worth living very much so the guy gave you a life live it to the fullest in the right way but life is also very challenging and it, it, it gets to a point where it's like dang I'm getting up every day thank God but I'm getting up every day to be on the verge of crying is it's getting blurry but that's how I feel that's how I've been feeling I'm getting up every day <laughs> to be on the verge of crying Psalm 34 4 and Psalm 4 1 has been in my mind lately and I've been trying to use those scriptures to just pick me up and remind myself of his word but for those of y'all who's probably going through the same thing I'm going through whether you're a mother whether you're a parent or not if you're going through spiritual warfare keep going it sounds like it sucks because it does I, I feel like I'm in a pit that's what it feels like and no one can hear me freaking screaming. I feel like I'm screaming every day on the inside and no one can hear me except for God. And I'm waiting for God's response and it's just silence. But anywho, anyway, I'm about to close up this video because I don't know what this vlog consisted of. To be honest, it was all over the freaking place. I'm about to close it out so I can start a new one. What is she doing? I'm about to close out this video so I can get stuff situated, cook, work out, do homework. And I will talk to you guys and see you guys in my next vlog praying that circumstances are different and i feel a little better emotionally spiritually and everything because right now but yeah i will see you guys in the next vlog hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one